Hi, in this video I'm going to share with you how to set up your Google My Business listing for your business. And in subsequent videos as a part of this series I'm going to also show you what we do for each of our clients in order to make sure that they're properly optimized and set up the right way so that your business gets a lot more exposure and it shows up in search when people are looking for your products and services. So each step is very important. This one of course is maybe the most important and if you don't have a listing yet this is the training that you want to follow first. Okay, so you want to log into your Google account first. If you don't have one yet, you'll want to go to google.com and sign up for a free Gmail account. Once you have your email account, your Gmail account, sign into that first. You can see up here in the top right, I'm already signed in to this example account. And what you're going to want to do next is actually go to this URL. It's business.google. Oops, sorry. It's business.google.com. And once you go there, you're going to see a page that looks something like this. Okay. And if you already have a listing set up, you're going to come to a page that looks something like this if you already logged in. So if you come to this page, just click on add new location. If you don't already have a location yet, which I'm guessing that's that's you if you're watching this video, then you'll come to this page and you'll want to click on start now. So we're going to make up an example business with a, you know an address that's not actually real or used by us. So just follow along here and follow the steps as if it was your business. So we're going to call um, our our company Stellar Website Design and whatever your business name is you're going to want to put that here okay and this is the name that's going to be on all of the different web listings you're going to have in the future so it needs to be exactly the same as everything that you plan to be seen as online in the future okay so click on next once you've done that and then I'm going to put a street address in here so I'm just going to give you my old um, address growing up as a kid Sorry about that, my dog wanted to be let out, so let me finish this here, and this is great. So then another thing that you want to look at here is uh, this, this tick box down here. I deliver goods and services to my customers. So the difference here is if you have a location like a home business and you don't want people showing up, you're going to want to click on this, okay? Uh, same thing would be true if you're like a plumber or a locksmith and you don't have a physical location that you want customers showing up to and you actually go out and render service, you want to tick this box. Okay? Uh, and then the other thing that you, and then if you're an actual like store or you're a chiropractor or a dentist or something, you want to leave this unchecked. Okay? So for this purpose, you know, I'm a web designer, I'm working from home, uh, we'll say, I'm going to do this and then um, put hide my address right if you don't want people showing up at your house you want to do this uh, and then click next okay so it'll show up as like a region that you serve and you'll see that here in the next page I believe so is this your business uh, so it's gonna ask you you know um, if your business already exists in the area so this is a good way to check and make sure you don't want duplicate listings of your business obviously these things that are popping up right here are not our business so we want to click on none of these <laughs> Okay, what kind of business do you run? So, you know, is this is very easy, web designer. Um, okay, another thing that you want, might want to do if you're not sure what category you want to be listed as, if it's not totally clear to you, uh, what you want to do is a quick search in your area of businesses that are like yours and find out what they're listing themselves as for business category. So, like, for example, um, you know, uh, we operate out of Boulder, Colorado, and, and we're the Boulder SEO expert. So what you what I would do is is I would search for Boulder SEO, and then you see here Internet Marketing Service. Everybody's Internet Marketing Service, okay? And then there's us down here. So I would list myself as Internet Marketing Service. But for web design, it's pretty obvious that's what we are here. So click on Next, and then you put in the name and the phone number. Um, I'm not going to actually do that here because I don't want to. Um, <laughs> put in duplicate phone numbers and then my website address and then click on next and then what's gonna happen on the you know what screw it let's do it um, 4412619 okay website stellarwebdesign.com okay it's not a real website but uh, that is our business phone number Okay, so what it's going to say is verify, your, you know, it's going to ask you to verify your connection to the business. Let's confirm that you're authorized to manage this business, and then your, your, um, your listing will go live. So click on continue, okay, and then it'll get you to this screen here, okay. 
So it's going to ask you to send a coast part, coast, uh, postcard by mail. So I would just put in here, you know, I'm going to put my name, and then I'm going to put mail. And what's going to happen is it's going to send a postcard to this address, okay? And that postcard, you're going to take that postcard, and you're going to just follow the instructions on the postcard and bring it back um, into your, your Google My Business area. You know, if you go to um, business.google.com, dot com forward slash manage and go to that page um, you'll take that postcard number put that in there and then you'll be able to verify this business listing and it will go live so usually the postcard takes about five to seven days to come up to come to you if it doesn't come to you in the first shot uh, just go back in and request in their verification and you should be all set to go so that is the basics of how to set up your Google my business listing in the next video I will show you more about how to actually edit the listing once it is verified add some extra information in there and then again in subsequent videos, go through the whole process of everything that you want to do to make sure that your Google My Business listing is set up the right way. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please subscribe and go ahead and watch some of the next videos because I think you'll really enjoy them. Thanks for watching my video. If you got some value out of it, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them as quick as possible. And then click that subscribe button if you want to get updates for all of our new upcoming content they're publishing every single day. I'll see you on the next video.